get tubers I'm in phase two or three I'm not even keeping track of preparing this greenhouse for fall um, beds are looking better I'm still got a bunch of weeds here I got to get out of these cantaloupe um, this one's looking a little better I did get the um, herb bed cleaned up got to put some more um, compost and perlite and maybe some um, Canadian peat in there yeah. along with what I pulled out of there was a lot of roots and it had soil in it so I just took the, all of it and threw it in the compost that's basil and I've got some aloe back there um, that's all the watermelons I think I'm done with watermelon I've got a couple different kinds of lettuce in there that one's prepared for I believe I'm gonna try and put some kale in there and this is where it starts getting interesting I'm moving the cracky, cracky beds up here I'll be putting them up here so I can get it all the way around it putting it against a wall um, it's just kind of hard to work with plus with it getting cold I don't want it right up against the wall I may try and grow some cantaloupe in there uh, not cantaloupe um, cucumbers seem like it worked pretty good just show you how these are progressing everything is growing I'm starting to tie them up that cracky bed down there I'm, I'm gonna move it I've got to get some five gallon buckets and unload all the nutrient solution because um, basically just want to take what's in there maybe top it off and put it back over here there's my double barrel stove several of you have been asking how I was going to heat it um, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here MHP Gardener did it uh, works really well for him I've got one of these on this side and I'll be having put one on the other and we'll be running two double barrel stoves burning wood um, Oh, still got some trash in there to burn. But anyway, I'll run it out up here and out to the side on both sides. I've got those beds over there doing really well. Carrots are really starting to come along. And I think that's broccoli and collards. And this is cabbage and lettuce. And then I have some more cauliflower down, cauliflower down there and some more collards and kale I know it's um charred over there anyway that's what I'm doing now I'm getting ready to drop these side curtains right now in here it's 93 degrees but uh, tomorrow night it will be 46 outside so I don't want it 46 in here I'm getting ready to drop those curtains and um, close it up that is not the new curtains and this is not the new skin that is still to come. There you go. God bless. We'll see you next time. Y'all go plant some dirt. All right, I got her buttoned up, except for the uh, bin at the top. I'm gonna leave that open until uh, it gets really cold. It's still in the 90s. I hope I don't cook everything before it cools off tonight, but it is gonna go down into the upper 40s by the end of the weekend so it's gonna be turning pretty cold this is the wiggle wire this is what fits in the channel uh, a U channel to kind of hold all that tight down at the bottom and at the top that's what secures this plastic all right guys I wanted to I did want to say too that uh, uh, when Rick picker Rick ask me um, what I would change about the cracky system and I told him I, I would make it to where I can get all the way around it and Rick that's that's for you bro God bless y'all take care